Hello and welcome guys. In today's session, we are going to see how to implement ADO.NET in .NET Core Web API 6.0. You can implement the same way using .NET Core any web app. It may be Blazor, it may be a MVC, but the implementation pattern or implementation technique is same. Before starting the session guys, if you are new to my channel, Please subscribe and ring the bell icon for future notification and if you ended up liking my video give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends let's get started so what is ADO.NET? ADO stands for ActiveX data object it provides consistent access to data source such as SQL server XML and two data source exposed through OLEDB or ODBC. Data sharing consumer application can use AD.NET to connect these data source, retrieve, handle, update the data they contain. There are two kind of architecture in AD.NET. One is connected architecture or we can say connected data architecture and disconnected data architecture. Connect data architecture, the application remain connected with the database throughout the complete process. But in case of that disconnected architecture, the application automatically connect and disconnect during the processing. Application use the temporary data on the application side called data set. So we are going to use both connected and disconnected data architecture in this session. So many people will say nowadays entity framework code is there which is much more easy to use who are edu.net. Edu.net is the base of database connectivity in Microsoft.net. And till today also people are using edu.net because of the legacy application. For those .NET course 6.0 with edu.net I am going to explain it. ADO.NET provides some classes like connection classes, command classes, data reader, data adapter, data set. We are going to use one by one in our application. So for that, I'm using Visual Studio 2022 and I'm going to use a .NET Core 6.0 Web API. Create new project. In my, one of my previous session also I created a session for .NET Core Web API but it was for 3.1 where we have startup.cs and program.cs both. But today we are going to use .NET Core 6.0 where only start program.cs is there. I am giving the project name as ADO Demo. Click on next. I am no need of HTTP. I am keeping controller and open API which is Swagger. Click on create. Our application got created. Let's go to SQL Server. I am going to SQL Server Management Studio. In today's session, we are going to use system.data.sql client, a new get package. In our traditional .NET framework, this package is by default installed in the application but in .NET Core we need to add from the new get. So my database name is testdb. So I have a table here which is tbl product. So these are the record, product name, category and product price. This ID is auto increment. Let's go to our application and we will create our, implement our ADR.NET. Right click on the application or you can go to tools, new get package console. I'm using console, you can use new get package manager also. For console, I'm copy pasting this command. Okay, 
it will install okay it got installed successfully next thing is we will go to our app setting dot json here we will add our connection string so how the connection string is added you can see server equal to server name or the data source name database name user id and the password so here you can see i can write here connection string default connection here is my connection string data source equal to my data source name which is this one user id is sa password is sql and my db name is test db so i have given data source name initial catalog is database name user id and password right save the application file now add a controller before adding controller i am adding a model here first so adding a class which is product model in this product model i am going to keep this product category name and price so here i am keeping public int get set right now let's add a controller or a controller here i am giving a web api controller empty controller i am giving the name as product controller right i no need of this route i am giving http get creating a api here route will be get all product public list of product model i mean giving get all product right so here i need to add the using statement models and it will return a list of product right list in the controller section i am creating adding a read only i configurations which is this one i will create one constructor here public this one i am keeping an i configuration giving it config and assigning this configuration to my this constructor config right after this here i can write everything sql connection con equal to new sql connection just like our traditional asia.net right we need to add the using statement here i am giving this configuration dot connection string in the bracket i am giving my connection string name go to upsetting.json this is my default connection so i am giving default connection right 
now sql command cmd equal to new sql command here adding the connection so i am just keeping this data here sql data adapter i am declaring di equal to new sql adapter here i am passing the command it equal to new data table so here we need to add the using statement using system dot data next da dot fields dt now i am writing a loop here for int i equal to zero i less than dt dot rows dot count i plus plus Will be in dot pass So I have added all the list of data and added to the list. Let's run the application and see this get all power working or not. Run the application. It will take few seconds to run. So our application got run. Here is the Swagger UI. Click on execute. So you can see the same data coming in this set. It is coming in our swagger ui in this way we can use get method to get the data using sql data adapter let's see how to insert the record so here you can see i have created a api save product same sql connection here command insert into the product table name connection upon execute non query and connection close this is called connected data architecture run the application and see it is saving or not so application got run so let's try it out i am giving request body edge product name edge keyboard or give the hardware price will be 300 execute products save successfully let's get and see it is coming or not yeah it is coming so in this way we can use ad or .NET in our .NET core web api guys i hope you like my video if you do give me a like share this video with your friend thank you very much